Yo, welcome to the channel, welcome to the page This is the Rat 2K, we got that offset father of four Man, out of all amigos, I have to say Quavo had the worst album, Takeoff had the second best Offset is coming in at number one with the best album Quavo album just was a little bit repetitive I still like that song with I like the song. I like the song. Um, let's look a couple songs off there. Big Bro is still bumping to me. Take Off got a couple songs off that album, like The Last Rocket. I definitely like. But this album right here definitely got four songs on it that I'm definitely going to probably rock with for a little while. That's going to be Legacy Red Room. That first song, Father of Four, and the song with Gucci, man. Like, when I come to this album, when I came back to say this album for the third time or the fourth time, ain't only four songs that I'm really interested in, I'm gonna be honest. That certain first song out the gate, man. He talking this shit, and he got a deep connection with the Dungeon family. He got the CeeLo Green on here, he got Big Rube on here. Yo, definitely, definitely, definitely. A respectable song, man. I can't even lie. Hands down, the best offset Migo song I've heard. And I was just like, wow, man. Wow. A lot of good content. The song with J. Cole. The first song just outside the song with J. Cole. So it was just like that song with J. Cole, man. J. Cole doing his thing. But God damn, that first song, it just, it caught me. You feel me? Because I'm a father. You feel me? So it's just, my nigga, I respect you. Song number three, that flutes and auto tunes. That's what I'd be saying with flute future a lot. I mean, a lot of flutes and auto tunes. That's all. all right. It's cool song. Cool song. Song number four, a hard beat offset. Yo, he got that laid back hype. You feel me? He just got that laid back hype. You feel me? Yeah. Yo, song number six. I like the verse from Gunna. Gunna. Kind of was chill his whole album, and he got an up tempo verse in here. I just don't understand. It is what it is. Kind of cool. The CeeLo song is definitely like my third favorite song off of here. I definitely like that song. That song is definitely tough. Definitely tough. CeeLo is doing this thing, you feel me? Yo, song number eight. It's a cool song, good production, everything's good in it, but it's just not my song. Like it's skippable to me. I skip that song literally every time. Like it got that laid back hype, bro. Just, I don't know. Don't lose me. I like this song. He said, "Demon on my soul." I got issues. He sound like Gunna a little bit in the song. The way he comes off. If you listen to the song, you be like, "Yo, Gunna would probably fit better in this song." Honestly, the song number ten. It's it's a okay song. It's it's okay. Song number 11 is definitely a hit. I like this song with 21, Travis. Travis on the hook, 21 rap. And I think he got the second verse and offset on the first verse. Man, that's song tough. I can't even lie. Yo, song number 12, I believe this is a good song for the moment with Cardi B and Offset. I don't believe this song going to go anywhere, though. I believe it's definitely going to hit the Billboard charts because it's definitely a song for the moment type shit, you feel me? And the video that they did on their IG to the song was definitely, I like that shit. So it's a cool, cool little bop, cool little vibe to that, you feel me? The song number 13 with Gucci, no, well, not Gucci, it has a Gucci man beat. And it's just him and Quavo. It's like, uh, uh, you miss me with that song, you feel me? The song number 14. It, yo, I like that song. It's my second favorite. Second favorite song off this album. Definitely. Yo, song number 15. That's the Red Room. Y'all definitely like the content that he put in there. The message that he's trying to get across in that song. I definitely like that, yo. I definitely like the content that he put on this album. You know, he is rapping about shit. He's talking about shit. He's letting us into his family. He's letting us into his life. You feel me? I feel like I know Offset now. You feel me? And that's what I respect about new artists. I, I want to know you. You feel me? I just don't want to hear the, oh, you got guns. Oh, you got drugs. Oh, you robbed a nigga with drugs. Oh, you fuck somebody, nigga, moms. Like, come on, yo. Like, yo, come on with the bullshit, bro. Like... Uh, yeah, niggas be on some crazy ass shit these days, bro. Yep. But yo, don't mind me. I was just rambling this shit. Man, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We got that offset album. I gave this a A. Definitely a top five album right now this year. Papoose is still leading the way. I have yet to hear a better album than Papoose. 
yeah, man, y'all should go listen. Y'all should definitely like and subscribe this shit because I keep you updated with a lot of good material and a lot of good content. And I feel like I'm not getting supported. It's just, it's kind of heartbreaking, you feel me? Because it's not making me want to post this shit any fucking faster. So if you post this shit and you, when I post this shit and you like this shit, I need you to like this shit, you know what I mean? Share this shit, love this shit, rape my whole fucking page from top to bottom. You know what I mean? The last the last video is the freshman of last year list. You know what I mean? Just 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 like the whole shit. You feel me? Thank you.